Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, on this 2010 Chevy Traverse, we're going to be putting in one of these. This is the sprayer that sprays windshield washer fluid up on your windshield. Um, the one on the passenger side uh, broke. Not sure why, but it did here a while back. <laughs> And uh, so I ordered a couple. Uh, you get two in a pack, they were like eight or ten dollars. So we're gonna put this in there and uh, I'll show you where it goes and I'll show you how this goes in. Okay, so we're on the hood. This is gonna go in here like that um, there's the original right here on this side so we're gonna put this in I may change that one I'm not sure it does work fine but this one's gonna be shinier so let me get the hood up and I'll show you what we got to do to get this to, to put this in there so what we're gonna have to do we got to peel this is the this is to help with flames if you have an under the hood fire it kind of helps snuff the flames out your car may be already missing it this one's still in good shape so right here we have a plastic plug that we've got to pull out <clears throat> now they make tools for these I can't find my tools so I'll show you how I do it if they break, don't be alarmed because they might break. <laughs> um, but I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. You can use a screwdriver. Sometimes you can get a pair of needle nose in there and pop that out. We're only gonna have to do this one to get up inside of here because this will peel back a little bit. So I got a pair of these. needle nose pliers. I'm just going to go right up in there on either side of the post. I'll show you when we get it off of here. Alright, let me pick that up. So this is what it is. And what I did was I got up underneath there and went on either side of that post and just pried it out like that. So that's pretty simple hopefully we won't have to take this one out and then you'll have these like tabs here see these tabs that go into them holes and I can see the hole right there and here's here's the washer line right here There's the washer line. And as you can see, that one's just crumbling from the heat. Oh, focus. So it's just crumbling from the heat. So what I'm doing now, I'm just kind of breaking that out of there. get that the rest of the way out you may have to take that off which I'm going to go ahead and do this is what it looks like a lot of times these are rubber they'll crack and break and leak if they're not real bad you can put some uh, silicon sealant around there so as you can see maybe inside there Maybe you can't see it. But inside there is the rest of that. You might be able to see it now. See that? You got to get that out of there or it'll just clog up on you and you're doing it again. So, all right, I pretty much got it cleaned out. There's another piece that goes with this. Let me go grab it for you 
and I'll show you what it does. Let me back you out a little bit. Now this is just a little gasket. And it's going to go on just like that. You can also, what you can do is you can fish your, your line up through if you can, up through that hole. Um, but I found it's a lot easier doing it this way. So I'm going to shove this down in that hole. I don't know if I can get you up here. I know it sounds strange, but make sure this thing is pointing at the windshield. Because if not, you'll be squirting stuff. You'll be squirting your stuff in front of you. Okay, see that little hole? I got my gasket on there. We're going to put this in here. And that's all there is to that. Now we're going to go back up under here and hook up our line. We're going to put... I know I really can't show you, but... We're going to put this back on our line here. Back on our line there. And then I'll show this to you here in a second. And this is just going to go onto our washer thing. Let me see if I can get you up in here to show you that. <laughs> this is a big camera. Okay. right up there and that's how that hooks on just like that will not come out <clears throat> now all that's left to do is we're going to put our first we're going to put that tab up in that little hole just like that start that up in that hole and just push it in and that's all it takes that's all you got to do like i said if you want to fiddle around get you a little piece of wire and try to pull that up through there you can do that uh, i just always find it's easier doing it this way but if you're afraid of breaking these plugs you can buy these plugs you know it's it's not like a lot of these little parts to where they're like bigfoot and you can't find them anywhere um but I'm gonna go ahead and do this side because, well, I want them to match. <laughs> I wasn't going to, hopefully this one don't break because then I can have an extra one, but yeah, see that's out of that tab. And this stuff's fiberglass, so if, you're, if you can't stand fiberglass, make sure you wear some kind of long glove or long sleeve. So let me get that put in there, and then we'll put uh, the windshield washer fluid in it. I noticed Monkey already has a gallon in there on the floorboard that wasn't in there before, so <laughs> I think she's she's kind of hinting for me to get this done. So all right, I gotta fix that too. My little. So like this, like this. That one broke. Like that. There we go. All right. Let me get this one put in and we'll fill it up and try it out. Okay, so I want to show you this. This one's got three spur holes. Now, a lot of your aftermarket parts don't look identical. Uh, the ones we put in, like, was this wasn't, this wasn't white. It was all black. And as you can see, this one kind of broke off there. But it is... It'll work for a spare, um, but this one has three holes. The other one had one hole, which might be divided inside. We'll just have to see, but let's go ahead and put some uh, fluid in here. Or, yeah, once you wash your fluid, and let's check it out and make sure it's going to work all right for her. Now, this one has one, where are you at, right here. This one has one place to put it. Now some places, this one does have a rear rear wiper and washer. Sometimes yours might have a tank like this in the back just for that one. 
this one has the tank up here that operates both of them. So that's leading me to believe, of course, since there's no Wi-Fi liquid, that there has to be a rubber line coming from here in out to the back. So, um, but I know it wasn't leaking, so I don't have to worry about that. So let me get the get the washer fluid and let's put in here. Not too bad. The reason why I brought that up was because someone brought their car to me one time, a customer, and said that their uh, said that they had a leak even when it wasn't raining. Come to find out, that's what it was. It was only leaking when they uh, would use their washers on the rear of their their vehicle. So, all right. Now we're going to get in and okay, I need to close this. We're going to get in and try it out. Now the one on the dry or on the passenger side has been replaced. See the difference in the color? This is the driver's side. This is the passenger side. See how nice and white that is? And it's a little bigger size. Yeah. So it's been replaced. So but we have a spare now. And this will work on either side. It doesn't matter. There's no left or right. What it is is your your hose will come in and it has a T. It'll come in, T off, one will go into here, so you have an inlet, one will go into here, and the other side will go out to the passenger side. Alright, we'll put our key in. Turn this on. And, oh no, that radio is going to kick on, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> right here is the button for this. There we go. And that side's always sprayed lower than the left side for some reason. Don't know why. All right, now let's um, do the back. All right, hang on. Now down here, that's the windshield washer or the windshield wiper in the rear. There's the fluid, and I can hear the pump up the front pumping. Let's see if it's working back there. It may take it a second to get up there. There it is. No, it's up there. I put all new wipers on here too. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. Alright, that's done. I put new windshield, windshield wipers on. And I, I didn't bore you guys with that because I've showed that before in a previous video. Um, yeah, those wipers seem to do pretty good. Um, yeah, awesome. This one comes out right up here. A lot of people think that's a camera. It's not. <laughs> uh, this is what's next. Again, down here in Florida, you guys out west, you know, and... Las Vegas and stuff, know what I'm talking about here. It's just, uh, so I'm gonna get, I have to get new roof racks. We're thinking about getting one of the big tall ones, kind of about this tall. We can put stuff up there when we're camping and have the clearance lights up there. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, there it is, guys. So, awesome. All right. Another quick video for you. I got another one coming up. I got a new mic. We're going to try it out and then I got something else. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye, guys. Take care.